So all of this stuff is what we were trying to avoid. Today I'll show you how to safely change your cabin filter. Now this could be an easy job or it could turn into a nightmare and I'll show you why. Okay, first step is we're gonna locate our uh, cabin air filter. Usually it's uh, in the uh, glove box. Uh, I know some cars are under the glove box and some are actually outside um, near the cowl. But in this car, we're gonna open the glove box. And usually there's a rod here or a string, so we're gonna remove that string. Okay, now it's only held on by um, tabs that look like these, one on each side. So to remove these, you're gonna push the gloves box in, and then with your nail, you're gonna pry on this part here. And then pull. Like so. So you pry like this and pull, because it that's where it attaches this uh, this notch here. Okay, same thing for the other side. So pry and pull. Now the glove box should just fall. Like so. Okay, now we've exposed the compartment of the cabin air filter. So usually there's a cover. Um, either there's tabs on the side or on the top. For in this case, we're gonna pry up. So this cabin filter hasn't been changed in years. And as you can see, just from the outside, there's lots of uh, leaves. And just by looking at it from the outside, I know there's a bunch of leaves in there that's packed. And as soon as you try to move it, you'll hear them. You'll hear them uh, crunch. And that's the problem. As soon as we remove this, all the leaves are going to fall into the blower motor. And that's where the, uh, the noise is going to come when you open your fan. So that's what we're trying to avoid is all these leaves falling into the blower motor. Because uh, usually the blower motor is located underneath or in some cars it's a lot harder to access. And if it's uh, right underneath the cabin air filter, then uh, you're one of the lucky ones. You could just unbolt the uh, blower motor and just remove all the leaves from there. But this, in this case, it's not accessible, so we're probably gonna have to remove half the dash just to get to the blower motor, and we're trying to avoid that. So a simple trick that we're gonna use to clean it up is just a regular vacuum with a narrow tip like this. So we could get in there and clean the leaves before it falls into the blower motor. Okay, right, so we're gonna need to make an opening. Um, it's fine if you destroy this one. Um, we're gonna change it anyways. So with a flat head, we're just gonna squish the sides here just so we could create an opening for our uh, vacuum to fit in. We're gonna squish it like this and just from that you could hear all the leaves that are stuck in there. Alright so we're gonna get our vacuum ready so we're gonna pry and try to suck up all the leaves that are stuck in there. So here you go. Okay, so after a few passes with the vacuum, we're gonna double check if we got uh, most of them out. There's just a few left in the back there. So we're gonna go uh, one more pass with the vacuum. Okay, now let's double check. Okay, so we got most of the chunks out. Uh, now we're gonna be ready to remove it without uh, worrying about anything falling into the blower motor. Okay, so here we go. You're gonna grab both ends and slowly pull it out.
Okay, before we pull it out all the way, we're just going to go one more pass with the vacuum um, to reach the, the back. Usually you'll hear some crunching. That means there's just a few leaves left. So here we go. Okay, now you can pull out all the way. So. Now to double check that we uh, didn't drop any leaves in there. I'm gonna turn on the car and then put your blower on and here, um, hopefully you don't hear any noises. Okay, that's good, that's the noise you wanna hear. You don't wanna hear any rumbling noise. That means there's a leaf stuck in the blower motor and that's what we're trying to avoid. We're trying to take all these precautions to avoid that noise. So all of this stuff is what we were trying to avoid. Okay, now we're ready to put the new one in. So uh, slide it in like this. And make sure it's facing the right way. Uh, usually it's gonna say airflow down and that's the right way your blow motor actually sucks in air instead of blowing it or just make sure the writing isn't upside down but usually they're gonna tell you with the arrow so now you know it's the it's it's in the right way all right and that's it we're done we're gonna close up the compartment here okay now we're gonna put back the glove box so there's some notches here there's one on this side and one on this side here that corresponds to where is it? these notches right here, this one, and this one there. Okay. Now you're going to close it and take your string that was on the side here. Okay, now we're going to put back the two tabs on the side here. So you want to pinch the glove box and then slide it in like this. Pinch and then go up so it can grab on the, the hole that's in there. So there's one. And that's it, you're all done. Make sure it closes and opens like this. Now taking a look back at the old one, even after vacuuming all the leaves out, there was still a bunch in the crevices here. But the filter itself doesn't even look that bad. Um, I've seen way worse, like it's not super dark, it's still a light gray. But it is recommended to change it just so you won't have all this accumulation of leaves. And after that, just going to be a pain to to remove it without uh, without the leaves falling in the blower motor. All right, guys. If you like this video, if you find this helpful, give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.